We're just on the beard. Morning. The beauties of couch surfing and uh, having a very lovely host. Still in Texas, still in Austin, although my uh, wonderful host Amanda um, has uh, pretty much given me a calendar for the last couple of weeks. And um, uh, she's been showing me Texas. Um, it's been a bit of a dream actually. Uh, it's all kind of muddled all together. I've done so much and I've still got um, a few days left. Say morning Ted. Ted did. Good morning. Hi. Um, he's not a morning person. Uh, so what have we done? Uh, I went to see Lionel Richie. That was pretty awesome. Got my groove on. Uh, then what did we do? I've been to see a couple of state parks. I uh, went to Bastrop yesterday. That was uh, very interesting actually. They had a massive fire there in 2011. And I think about 1600 houses um, and buildings were wrecked. Uh, they disappeared, burnt down. A lot of people um, out of home. It was a pretty devastating time for um, that area of Texas. Um, but the park was stunning. Um, in the middle of regrowth at the moment. Um, but I've been off on a bit of a tangent this last uh, week. Um, I haven't really done a lot of um, natural things, which what is what my trip is all about, but managed to see a bit of America that uh, I hadn't planned on ever coming anywhere near or getting involved in or seeing. Um, I did spend a couple of days or a day at um, one of the community farms picking vegetables, uh, packing vegetables I should say, and met some interesting people there. Um, interesting music whilst I was doing it as well. Uh, so yeah, I managed to go to Dallas and see the JFK exhibition. That was uh, unique. Um, felt a little bit strange with the whole museum being in the building that supposedly the, the shots came from. Um, and uh, it, it almost glorified it a little bit for me, but it was still fascinating. And um, goodness knows what the uh, authorities were playing at the time to try and figure it all out. It, it all just was a bit of a muddle, and it still is. Um, mainly due to, I think, the technologies that they had. But um, there we go. Whether it's a conspiracy or not. Oh, I'm making breakfast tacos, by the way. It's a bit of a thing in um, in the states, and uh, my hosts have been pretty uh, generous in allowing me to make some breakfast whilst they're out at work. Uh, so what else? Um, Lionel Richie, JFK, um, went into Austin and saw the uh, Capitol building. That was pretty interesting. Where um, where all the politics occur in uh, in Texas. Austin's the state capital, by the way. I think I might have mentioned that it could have been Houston a while ago. It's not. It's Austin. Um, seen a few other weird and wonderful places in Austin. Uh, oh, there's bats. Uh, there's the largest uh, world population of urban bats in Austin, and they live under one of the bridges. So I managed to see that the other night. I um, just stood on the bridge, and they all come out and circle around and eat all the mosquitoes, which is handy for me. Um, I got bitten pretty badly when I arrived. Had a nasty reaction and I've been itching ever since. I've pretty much had my legs in lotion for a week. Uh, I'm obviously tasty from the waist down. Um, what else have we done? God, I've been to some awesome food places. Um, Amanda has taken me to uh, a breakfast or a, a restaurant called Bacon. I was pretty much in my element. Uh, I could have, if, if I had a stomach big enough or three spare, I could have eaten um, a lot more in Bacon. Um, where else? Went to a roller derby. Um, yeah, so kind of off off piste on uh, what my trip is all about, but I'm managing to see a lot of things that. Uh, it's been a treat, to be fair. Um, I've been um, I've been treated unbelievably kindly, and 
managed to see an awful lot. So yeah, roller derby, that was uh, a new experience for me. Uh, i trying to think what else. Um, oh, the Space Centre. I went to Houston. It was like a few hours drive away. Um, we drove down there yesterday to see the Johnson Space Centre. managed to see um, uh, Mission Control. Uh, the first ever Mission Control Centre in the 60s when uh, man first stepped on the moon. Uh, rather nostalgic. It was pretty cool, actually. Uh, I'm not a massive space and uh, astronaut fan, but it was uh, it was rather interesting and um, yeah, nostalgic. It was quite uh, poignant, obviously, in the um, Cold War era, and uh, yeah. Uh, especially after seeing the, the JFK thing as well, because he was um, he was a bit of a pioneer for change and for new things and for America to become um, this world power that uh, it already was, but um, on a new level, I think. And the Space Center following that was was pretty interesting, very uh, inspiring. If you're if you're in, if you want to get into space, it was quite it was it was cool. Um, there was quite a bit of a touristy spot when you went in, but it's America, you kind of get used to that. Uh, lots of restaurants and um, you know, games for the kids and big colourful placards and things. But it, you know, it, it sent a message out and they do some really uh, pioneering things. Uh, what else? Uh, well, I've got a few things lined up. Um, 45 minutes away by car, Amanda and I are going to drive down to San Antonio to see the Al, oh, mind blank. Alumni. Alumni. I can't believe I've just forgotten it, but I've been studying this for the last couple of days. Um, but Phil Collins has donated one of the largest alumni. Alumni. Oh, forget it. Uh, Phil's had. Um, he's donated all of his collection towards this uh, museum, and it was basically about when. Uh, Texas was becoming its own country and then not becoming its own country, whether they were going to become a part of uh, Mexico or whether they were going to become a part of the United States. Um, so that might be quite an interesting, well it should be a very interesting place to go and see. Um, and then we have a road trip planned to New Orleans, which gets some, I don't know, get some jazz on for a night or two. It's uh, it's all road trip and cities at the moment, which is uh, completely different to what I'm used to, what I'm used to, and what I'm, I've come to see. But uh, it's well worth it, and I'm getting a not a break, but a um, completely different slant on um, what I had come to see. So I've still got time, and what's coming up next? I've got uh, I got a ride, hopefully back up to Denver, back on track then. Um, west across Utah. I've got uh, hopefully Arches, Bryson Zion National Park before the Grand Canyon. Uh, then I just need to try and get a ride to Vegas where I've met, where I've, I've made contact with a couple of people who uh, would like to show me some of Vegas. And then I need to try and get to Yosemite. So might be heading out on foot or um, catching a ride to Yosemite or I might have to go via somewhere like Reno or Tahoe um, before I go. That's it. Uh, quick roundup, and um, I'll see you all soon. Cheerio.